just want to be where you are Dwelling daily in your presence I don't want to worship from afar Draw me near to where you are I just want to be where you are your dwelling place forever take me to the place where you are I just want to be with you I want to be where you are dwelling in your presence feasting at your table Surrounded by your glory In your presence That's where I always want to be I just want to be I just want to be with you So I just want to be where you daily in your presence I don't want to worship from afar draw me near to where you are I just want to be where you are in your dwelling place forever take me to the place where James, starting this, starting this hour off with the Lord with this song. I mean, it's just perfect. The Lord said, if you just come to the prayer tower this morning, I'll begin to speak to you. So I want you to just listen carefully. He said, I'll be there and my spirit will start speaking into you. So as we just worship, we want to hear the things he's trying to say to us. So let that... Just stop for a moment. Let the Spirit of God stir up in you. Let Him just begin to say anything to you that He wants to say right now.
just want to be with you. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship His holy name. Sing like never before. the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship His holy name, sing like never before, oh my soul, I'll worship Your holy name.
instruments for David's tabernacle and he is going to honor and pull forth into that tabernacle new and unusual instruments of praise and worship and he's going to fill it he is going to answer by fire I heard it this way let me just prophesy it was very clear but very very similar to what Anne is saying he said, I've been taking my hammer of my word and I've been pulling out the way you have nailed up the walls of the past. I say, this is a day of disbanding and dismantling. I say, I'm pulling nails out because even your praise from the past has erected something that, you, that was covering you in that season. But now, new levels of praise and new levels of warfare I am releasing from heaven. Therefore, the instruments of praise will now change and the weapons for war will now change. I say I'm disbanding groups that have gathered in the earth so I can gather again. For there is an army that I must mantle and bring out in a new way. So I say to you, this is the beginning of the disbanding, dismantling, and I will cause you to build again that which I would long to see in the earth. listen carefully during this week for I will begin to make announcements that have not been heard I will cause announcements that will start new phases and new beginnings so listen carefully for the power of my announcements are coming down from the heavenly breakthrough. And I'm forming new trade routes and I'm bringing in new alignments. I say to you, I will realign your contacts even now, for this is a time that I am even disbanding and reordering businesses and lives. I'm pulling out some attached, soulish attachments so that I can reattach you with me. It will be as if you are getting a blood transfusion over the next few months. I had 
to move and why have I had to join with this group? And I say it is because you were being distracted from the familiar that you were in in the past. So I'm dismantling and disbanding your familiar so that in days ahead you will march as if you were totally new in my army. And the gifts you've had will come alive in a new way. And that which you've never displayed, you'll begin to display, saith the Lord. your discipleship, that last training that I long to train you in, I say that time is coming to an end, and now I will blow on you to send you forth, and what I trained you for, you'll manifest and demonstrate in a new way. I say I'm disbanding the familiar that I might send forth a group that can build the new. word and deed, so be ready and willing, in season and out of season, to extend a hand or to speak the word. I'm loosing tongues of fire and hands of fire at this time. And the Lord says, you've resisted my spinning wheel, my potter's wheel. You've thought all along that I have completed the work in you. But the Lord says, I'm still spinning my potter's wheel. I'm still shaping you and forming you. And my purpose in you will continue until I fulfill the completion of that. And I can create at any moment for you to be what I want you to be if you will just not resist my fingers upon your life so that you can move in this time and in this season moment by moment by moment as I change you and restructure you. For the finger of my purpose is now being put in my people. And that finger of God that is touching you is producing a mark upon you. I say not only am I marking you for the future, I'm sealing you for the future. And I say I will be using you. So dream again and enter into the thoughts from my playbook that will cause you to walk in and step into your future. the sound and 
the words of God in the instruments. I say to you shadows and facets of what I would have you be a part of cover but even now I am causing winds to blow in and waters to be released that will remove the shadows that were shadowing facets of the building of your future I say many are living in foreboding times and foreboding thoughts are ruling them in the changing times. But I say to you, in the midst of the foreboding around you, I can rise you up and you can look out from the balcony and you can see across the field and say, there's the path of harvest. the sound of blessing that brings multiplication for I deconstructed the loaves and the fishes from the baskets that they were in and it was the sound of my blessing and the breaking that caused that multiplication to come forth so the Lord says that I am releasing the sound of blessing and in that sound you will multiply you will feed many and you will come together in new baskets full to be left over and re-released. And I'm hearing the Lord say, invest again, invest again. That some have made a decision and the investment did not turn out the way you thought it would. But the Lord is saying, invest again. Just like he spoke to Peter. He said, cast your net again, Peter. And when Peter obeyed, he brought in a great hole that he had so much he needed help. The Lord said, if you would have hear my voice and invest again, your hole would be greater than the previous. The Father, I pray for people right now who have lost in the past finances through investments, I say you will show them how they lost so they can recoup it two times, four times, and seven times. And I say they will invest again. We tell the shadows of loss, you must leave now and be blown away.
open the gates God is lodging this place Lift up your hands Let the King of glory gems. I will fill your foundations with sapphires again. I will make pinnacles of rubies and gates of crystal open before you. Your walls of precious stone. All of your children shall be taught of the Lord and great shall be the peace of your children. In righteousness you shall be established. You shall be far from oppression. Behold. 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 I have created the blacksmith to bring forth instruments for my work. I am blowing on the coals of fire. No. I have even sent the destroyer in the past season to try to get you out of the alignment you were in. And I say to you, now that destroyer you'll know and what he tempted to destroy, you will now overrule. I say, no weapon formed against you will prosper and... Every tongue will fall that's been in judgment. The heritage of the servants of the Lord. I am sending a sound down. I say, behold, behold, I am now forming you as a new instrument of war for the future.
will not but chance We're a part of heaven's plan Of us in this place Stand united in faith We're not but chance We're a part of heaven's plan Sing it again all over
this drum, the babies cry before the child comes forth. And you shall hear the march of the army before they assemble. And you shall hear the voice of the accuser before it is released. And even when Anne came forward with that word about the sound of new instruments, I heard the Lord say, those instruments have names. Some of those names you're hearing come out. Shatis said a sound that came out. There's a sound in Robert. There's a sound in Joe. There's a sound in Emily. There's a sound in Tobias. There's a sound in Nancy. There's a sound in each one that's joining us. There's a sound with your name on it. The Lord is saying, what sound have you brought through this season? What sound are you bringing to birth? For even as the word came forward, before the birth happens, you will hear the sound. So we declare that this is an hour of sounds being unlocked, of sounds being named. The names of sounds are being activated and released. I saw angels being dispatched with messengers. They had messages to say, this sound must come forward. This sound must come forward. And with some of those messengers, those angels coming, it was pinches of instruments. Others, it was sounds on drums. Others, it was names. But this is a time that we've set aside for sounds to be loose through Judah, through each one that's here, that each one is joining, that sounds will be released that bring harvest and increase in Jesus' name.
Every sound declaring peace. Every sound declaring healing. Every sound declaring mercy. Every sound declaring judgment. Every sound declaring fire. Every sound declaring the Lord of Lords. like different things coming in and I was watching and what I saw was it was like I would see a sound come and the Lord would take it as though it was something solid uh, he could handle it he could take it in his hand and he began to pick up these different sounds and he began to weave them together and you could see the strength from one and the strength from another and it became something completely different he said there will be a song of the nations that will form a new weapon and I began to hear and it was like all these sounds coming together like layer after layer and weaving in and out and there were some that were just like this solid foundational sound and the others, it was almost like they played and danced over it. And the Lord said, the enemy will have no defense against this sound. When you begin to pull this together and you learn just the way that you learned to recognize the anointing on one another in intercession or in prophecy, you will learn to recognize the sound that needs to come and you will work with my hand with the sound but he said there will be a song of the nations that will not be a hispanic sound or an oriental sound or an african sound it will be those sounds woven together each one remaining distinct but with no uh, competition with no dissonance um, and coming together as a new kind of weapon that will be very powerful. So right now, Lord, we call in every instrument from every nation, every sound that has not come and been assembled, we call them in now. We call them in. Lord, we send your spirit out to cause them to connect, to come in. We say put our faith in their future, in their dream life, Lord, to cause them to visualize what their part is and to come and to stand and deliver. Lord, we say do what you have to do in us so that every sound that you want to manifest begins to come forth out of us. 
and I've received an email from nations that we're not going to be able to pray for. So I call for the sound of Brunei. I call for the sound of the uh, Virgin Islands. I call for the sound of those that have not been prayed for. I will be prayed for later. Lord, we call those sounds in now in the name of Jesus. We call the sounds of Israel to begin to arise in a new way. But a one new man's sound will begin to arise. Even as we are worshiping today, I heard the sound of a tambourine, and there was no tambourine. I was trying to find a tambourine. And then Elaine came forward with a tambourine sound, and I saw the Israelites people picking up that tambourine as they came across that sea as spoilage from the Egyptians and they said we're capturing that sound that sound is being redeemed and brought into a new way to worship the God of Israel so we say the worship for the sounds of the God of Israel are going to begin to arise in a new way we say God of Israel receive the sounds of the nations today
Prince of Peace, Prince of Peace, we worship you as the Prince of Peace. We cry out, yeah, we bow down, right in on our many sounds, Prince of Peace. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you for this time that you've given us to come together in a corporate way, to loose a sound that could be presented to you, that you could take, that you could inhabit, that you could cause to come into a form, a weapon, one that could display your glory and honor in the nations. So in this week in which we are coming up to Pentecost, we say, Lord, our sound is yours we give it to you. We offer it up to you and we ask that you take our sound and take it to places beyond what we could ask or imagine so that all honor, all praise and glory would be yours and yours alone. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you tonight at 6 o'clock. And for all of you who will be joining us this weekend, we look forward to seeing you beginning Thursday night at 7. Bless you.